Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we dive into Positivity by Barbara L. Fredrickson. This compelling work showcases the latest findings on how positive emotions are essential for our overall happiness and well being. Fredrickson, a distinguished professor of psychology at the University of North Carolina, brings her extensive research in the field of positive psychology to the forefront offering practical strategies to amplify the presence of joy, gratitude, serenity, interest, hope, pride, amusement, inspiration, awe, and love in our daily lives. Positivity not only demystifies the science behind smiling, laughter, and happiness, but also provides actionable advice for nurturing a more optimistic outlook on life. Whether you are seeking methods to boost your mood, aiming to raise your general satisfaction in life, or curious about the academic exploration of happiness, this book is your guide to discovering the transformative power of positive feelings. Barbara L. Fredrickson, also known for her work Love 2.0, is a pioneering force in positive psychology. Her influential research has contributed significantly to our understanding of human emotions and the importance of fostering positivity for a fulfilling life. This book is especially recommended for anyone interested in the power of positive emotions, those looking to enhance their happiness and life satisfaction, and readers intrigued by the realms of positive psychology and happiness research. Join us as we explore how the simple yet profound act of embracing positivity can enrich our lives in unexpected ways. Positivity, top-notch research reveals the three-to-one ratio that will change your life. Introduction, unlock the secret to a brighter life through positive emotions. Always look on the bright side of life, goes the famous Monty Python song, echoing an eternal optimism that seems quaint, yet perhaps profoundly wise in its simplicity. You might wonder, in the complexity of human emotions, Can adopting a positive outlook really be that transformative? The burgeoning field of positive psychology suggests, with a resounding yes, though it underscores that it requires a bit more nuance and effort. Imagine having tools at your disposal that not only measure the warmth and frequency of your positive emotions, but also amplify them. Yes, the landscape of psychology today promises just that. Researchers are now able to quantify our experiences of joy, contentment, and love, showcasing the incredible leverage these emotions wield over our overall well being. More fascinating is how these positive emotions refashion our worldview, sharpen our minds, and spark our creativity, rendering us more open, more embracing, and more appreciative of the tapestry of our daily existence. But this isn't just whimsical theorizing. The notion that positive emotions can significantly uplift our intelligence and steer us toward greater success is firmly rooted in empirical evidence. It's a revelation that could very well alter the way we approach our personal development and professional ambitions. So, here's the thrilling part. Cultivating a reservoir of positive emotions isn't an exclusive art. It's a universal science that's accessible to most of us, ready to embark on this transformative journey. In our exploration, you'll uncover the following gems. Discovering that the secret to fulfillment doesn't lie in perpetual bliss, but in harvesting joy most of the time. Learning how simple daily rituals, like immersing in pleasant visuals or melodies, can drastically uplift your spirits and reshape your perspective on life and understanding the profound happiness that awaits on the other side of gratitude, revealing that sometimes the pathway to contentment is paved with thankfulness. Dive into the narrative that bridges recent discoveries in positive psychology with actionable insights, shedding light on how you can unlock the vault of positive emotions to lead a richer, more satisfying life. Part 1. Rediscovering the Silent Giants The Impact of Positive Emotions 
For the longest time, the spotlight has been on the darker side of our emotional spectrum. Fear, anger, and sadness have dominated discussions in psychological circles, not without reason. These intense emotions ringing loud and clear like alarm bells have been historically linked to our survival instincts. Imagine our ancestors, sharply attuned to the rustle in the bushes signaling danger, their negative emotions priming them for fight or flight, a crucial aspect of human evolution. This age-old focus on negative emotions has been pivotal in understanding and treating various mental health issues, providing invaluable insights. However, this has inadvertently cast a shadow over the quieter, more radiant side of our emotional palette, positive emotions. Typically more subtle and unfortunately often overlooked, emotions such as joy, love, hope, and gratitude have been underestimated in their power to shape our lives. But why do these positive emotions tend to whisper rather than shout? The truth is, while fear and anger were honed by the urgent demands of survival, positive feelings played a different, though no less crucial, role in our evolution. They bound communities together, inspired cooperation, and fueled creativity and exploration. Recent pivots in psychological research have brought to light the profound impact that these silent giants can have on our daily life and overall well being. Delving into the realm of positive psychology, Researchers have unveiled that the richness of our lives is significantly deepened by our capacity to cultivate and embrace positive emotions. Even more striking is the discovery of how these emotions, in their quiet persistence, make us resilient, guiding us through adversities with a gentle hand. The findings are both compelling and transformative. Indulging in love, joy, gratitude, hope, and pride doesn't merely add a temporary sparkle to our lives. These emotions have the capacity to rewrite the narrative of our existence. They aren't just fleeting moments of happiness. They are fundamental building blocks for a fulfilling life. The benefits of nurturing a positive emotional state extend far and wide. Career success, rewarding personal relationships, and a palpable increase in overall life satisfaction are just the tip of the iceberg. This exploration into the power of positivity reveals an enticing promise. An enriched life characterized by less stress and more fulfillment is within our grasp. As we venture deeper into understanding the full spectrum of human emotions, it becomes increasingly clear that the silent stars, our positive emotions, are indeed powerful forces, guiding us towards a more radiant and resilient existence. Part 2 Discover the key to resilience and success, a positive life outlook. Here's a ray of sunshine to brighten your day. The secret potion for a blissful life, positive emotions, is something we're all born with. Yet, the reality for many is that these emotions don't always flow abundantly enough to weather the storms life throws our way, be it heartbreak, health crises, or other trials. Interestingly, there are individuals among us who seem to navigate life's turbulent waters with grace and optimism. These folks, powered by an inherently positive outlook on life, exhibit remarkable resilience and success. Their secret, a robust, positive emotional foundation that acts as a shield against the arrows of depression and chronic worry. In the face of adversity, their innate optimism illuminates paths through darkness, making them adept navigators of life's challenges. This positivity isn't just a personal boon, it radiates outward, enriching their relationships and paving the way for social and professional fulfillment. By viewing the world through a lens of possibilities rather than obstacles, these individuals are magnets for opportunities, always poised to uncover the silver lining, regardless of circumstance. So, what's the takeaway for those of us looking to cultivate a similarly radiant outlook? It turns out the recipe for happiness isn't shrouded in mystery. It's within our reach, through actively enhancing our daily quota of positive emotions. Imagine the transformation possible when we tip the scales of our emotional experiences towards the positive, thereby fostering an overall optimistic attitude towards life. Research underscores this very point. In studies where participants were exposed to simple positive stimuli, 
think soothing sounds or beautiful imagery, the impact was profound. Participants who basked in these positive inputs demonstrated a significantly more upbeat outlook on life compared to those who didn't. They were more inclined to revel in the positive facets of their lives, shedding light on the impactful role of positive emotions in sculpting a happy, resilient existence. This revelation is both empowering and invigorating. It suggests that by mindfully increasing our exposure to positive experiences, we don't just uplift our mood temporarily. We weave a fabric of resilience and success that colors our view of the world and our place in it. So, as we journey through life, let us remember that nurturing our positive emotions is not just an act of self-care. It's a step towards shaping a fulfilling, joyous life, one that's resilient in the face of adversity and rich with opportunities. Part 3. Unlocking a world of unlimited possibilities with positive emotions. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast, uncharted landscape filled with the exhilarating sense of potential that only hope and boundless energy can bring. This is not just a flight of fancy. It's the transformative effect of positive emotions at work, opening up our world and infusing it with endless possibilities. Consider the emotion of joy as a prime example. Joy doesn't just fill us with happiness, it propels us into a state of play. This playful state is not merely about fun. It's a powerful catalyst for creativity, driving us to discover solutions and ideas that would otherwise remain concealed from us. This phenomenon isn't exclusive to humans. Take Husser monkeys, for instance. Through the sheer joy of play, young monkeys learn to master the art of leaping from branch to branch, skills that become vital for their survival in face of real threats. This is a clear demonstration of how positive emotions do not just enrich our lives, but can also have a profound impact on our survival and success. The magic of positive emotions extends far beyond the immediate rush of joy. Over time, emotions such as joy, gratitude, and love have the capacity to fundamentally alter who we are. They encourage us to open up, become more accepting, and embrace a more tolerant viewpoint towards others. Studies across cultures have revealed that when individuals are uplifted by positive emotions, they tend to emphasize their shared humanity, leading to stronger, more harmonious relationships and an increased openness towards strangers. But there's more. Positivity doesn't just transform our social interactions. It reshapes our very perception of the world around us. In an enlightening study, individuals were asked to engage with a slideshow while focusing on aspects they considered important. Those primed with positive emotions beforehand not only paid greater attention to the details, but also were more observant of the subtle, peripheral elements. This experiment showcases how a positive outlook literally widens our visual field, allowing us to perceive our surroundings with greater clarity and depth. The lesson here is clear. Embracing positive emotions is akin to unlocking a doorway to a realm brimming with novel opportunities and perspectives. It's not just about being happier in the moment. It's about cultivating a disposition that enriches our lives in profound, lasting ways. By fostering positivity within ourselves, we don't just change how we feel, we transform how we interact with the world and those around us, making life a richer, more vibrant experience. Part 4. Finding the Perfect Emotional Balance for a Life of Fulfillment In the intricate dance of emotions that colors our daily lives, it's often the negative feelings that seem to lead, pulling our mood down with greater force than positive emotions can lift it. This disparity, rooted deeply in our evolutionary history, skews our emotional balance towards the negative, pushing the scales away from happiness and satisfaction. But what if there was a formula, an ideal ratio of positive to negative emotions that could tip the balance in favor of happiness? Research suggests there is such a recipe for emotional well-being. For every negative emotion experienced, three positive ones should take flight. Imagine the emotional landscape of our lives as a vast sea with waves of different emotions. 
When negative emotions outnumber the positive, we find ourselves caught in a downward spiral, each day sinking a bit lower into unease and discontent. This is the reality when the ratio of positivity is too low, when every silver lining is overshadowed by multiple clouds. Fortunately, hope is not lost. The key to reversing this descent lies in amplifying our experiences of joy, gratitude, love, and other positive emotions. Investigating this phenomenon, psychologists conducted long-term studies asking participants to log their emotions. It became evident that those floating on the highest waves of happiness consistently maintained a high positivity ratio. The magic number, as concluded by these psychological explorers, stands at three. One, achieving thrice as many positive emotions as negative ones acts as a lever elevating us into an upward spiral of increasing happiness and fulfillment. This is not just a theoretical ideal, but a practical goal that, when reached, enriches life with meaning and satisfaction. However, a glance at the emotional ratios of most individuals reveals a stark reality. The average ratio hovers around two. One, a mix that leaves many feeling somewhat adrift, yearning for more. Even more concerning, those grappling with depression often find themselves beneath the one, one threshold, where negative emotions regularly overshadow the positive. This insight into the ideal emotional balance is more than just academic. It's a beacon guiding us towards a brighter, more fulfilled existence. By consciously nurturing our positive emotions, we can shift the scales and sail towards a horizon filled with happiness, resilience, and contentment. The journey towards the three. One positivity ratio is both a challenge and an invitation to transform our lives from within, turning the tide in favor of a more joyful and satisfying life. Part 5. Navigating Towards Positivity An Attainable Journey for All Feeling like your emotional compass points more towards storms of sadness, gusts of anger, or the chill of resentment, rather than the warm sunshine of joy. Take heart, you're navigating the vast sea of human experience alongside many others. The comforting news is that steering towards the sunnier side of life, while requiring effort, is a voyage most of us can embark on. It's true, some might argue that our emotional landscapes are significantly shaped by our genetic makeup, suggesting that the balance between our joys and sorrows might be somewhat predestined. However, Think of your genetic disposition as the boat you're given. While you can't change its make, you absolutely can adjust the sails, chart the course, and sail towards a horizon of positivity. One of the most effective strategies in this odyssey is cultivating new habits that bring genuine pleasure and satisfaction into your life. Whether it's rekindling connections by reaching out to a dear friend, indulging in the simple joy of a leisurely walk, or savoring a favorite treat. These acts can serve as beacons of light, guiding you through darker waters. Taking the time to acknowledge and express gratitude, or to reflect on past achievements, can also be powerful waves lifting you towards positive shores. These habits, once formed, become instrumental in building resilience, an invaluable ability that enables us to face life's adversities with grace and optimism. Resilient individuals don't just survive challenges, they use them as stepping stones to higher ground, enhancing their overall well-being and happiness. While inherent resilience may be a gift for some, the majority of us can cultivate this trait through conscious effort and practice. This journey towards positivity doesn't suggest banishing negative emotions from the deck. After all, Feelings such as fear and anger have their place and utility. For instance, when danger looms on the horizon or when trust is broken. Instead, the aim is to let positive emotions be the prevailing winds that fill your sails, reducing the impact of the negative currents along your path. Embarking on this voyage requires identifying and committing to the practices that personally resonate and uplift you. As you find and integrate these rewarding activities into your daily life, transforming them into steadfast habits, you'll begin to experience an upward spiral, a cycle of growth and deepening happiness. Remember, 
reaching a state of sustained positivity is a journey that's both unique and attainable. By charting your course with intention and embracing the winds of positive change, you'll discover that a fulfilling and joyous life isn't just a distant dream, it's a destination within your reach. Part 6. Pen to Paper. A Simple Path to Amplifying Positivity. The ancient philosophers were onto something profound, a deep-seated connection between understanding oneself and attaining happiness. Embarking on a quest for a more positive existence commences with a journey inward, a closer examination of the ebb and flow of our own emotional tides. One of the most effective tools at our disposal for navigating this internal landscape is reflection, particularly through the act of writing. Imagine starting your day, not with the routine rush to get ready, but with a moment of pause to jot down the initial feelings stirring within you. How do you feel as the morning sun greets you, or as you savor your first sip of coffee? Documenting these moments creates a map of your emotional journey through the day, pinpointing the peaks of joy and valleys of discontent. This practice equips you with a clear lens through which to view the tapestry of emotions that color your days. By identifying which experiences lift your spirits and which ones dampen them, you're better positioned to steer your life toward more frequent encounters with happiness. But how exactly can one leverage this insight to tilt the scales towards positivity? Enter the practice of maintaining a gratitude diary, a potent tool in the arsenal against gloom. Gratitude, with its gentle but transformative power, has the capability to magnify the beauty in our lives, turning even the mundane into sources of joy. Imagine discovering that a simple conversation about childhood memories with your parents fills your heart with gratitude. Such revelations serve as keys to unlocking more positive experiences. In this instance, picking up the phone becomes more than just a call. It's a deliberate step towards happiness. Moreover, cultivating collections of positive memories, be it through a photo album brimming with snapshots of joyous occasions or a box of mementos from cherished adventures, acts as a reservoir of joy. Flipping through these pages or sifting through these keepsakes has the power to transport you back to moments of happiness, rekindling the warm glow of positive emotions. In essence, the act of writing down our experiences and emotions is not just a passive record-keeping exercise. It's an active engagement with our inner selves, a way to harness the power of reflection to foster a more joyful and grateful life. By taking to heart the wisdom of documenting our days, we unlock a straightforward yet profoundly effective means of enhancing our emotional well-being. Part 7. Embracing Mindfulness, a pathway to transforming your emotional landscape. In our bustling, information-saturated world, mindfulness has surfaced as a beacon of hope for many, seeking solace and a deeper connection with the present moment. It's often touted as a panacea for the ills of modern life, promising a more contented and emotionally rich existence by simply tuning into the now. At its core, mindfulness is the art of conscious living. It means fully immersing yourself in the present moment, paying close, deliberate attention to the experiences unfurling around you and within you. This could be as simple as noticing the intricate dance of leaves in the breeze during your morning commute or savoring the symphony of flavors in your lunch. Mindfulness, however, does not discriminate between the shades of our emotional spectrum. It invites us to acknowledge and sit with our negative feelings just as we would relish the positive ones. By becoming aware of our moments of frustration or disappointment, like that sting of irritation when we miss a bus, we open the door to inquiry. Is our self-directed anger truly warranted over a missed bus? Often, by merely shining the light of mindfulness on these dark corners of our emotions, we can see them for what they are, fleeting, transient, and more often than not, disproportionate responses to the vicissitudes of daily life. This perspective allows us to release the grip of negative emotions and pivot back towards positivity. But what happens when negative emotions stubbornly cling, refusing to be laughed away? Mindfulness teaches an invaluable lesson here as well, the power of distraction. 
instead of ruminating on a negative encounter, like criticism from a boss, why not channel your energy into a productive distraction? Browsing through pending emails, for instance, can redirect your mental energy from a cycle of negativity to something constructive. Moreover, mindfulness encourages us to seek the silver lining in seemingly negative experiences. Viewed through a mindful lens, your boss's critique transforms from a source of stress to a challenging opportunity for personal growth and learning. This re-evaluation technique is a cornerstone of mindful practice, turning potential emotional pitfalls into stepping stones for development. In essence, the practice of mindfulness is an invitation to rewrite the narrative of our daily emotional experience. By cultivating an awareness of the moment, embracing the totality of our emotional selves and learning to shift perspectives, we can navigate our way through life with greater serenity, purpose, and joy. Part 8. Meditation. A pathway to positivity and presence. Transforming habits is akin to altering the course of a mighty river. It demands not just intention, but a force powerful enough to forge a new path. In the quest for lasting change and greater positivity, we are often our own biggest obstacles, with routines deeply ingrained and willpower stretched thin. Yet, amidst the arsenal of strategies to break free from these binds, one ancient practice stands out for its simplicity and efficacy meditation. Originally a cornerstone of Buddhist spirituality, meditation has transcended its Eastern origins, blossoming into a global phenomenon recognized for its capacity to heal both mind and spirit. At its heart, meditation is an exercise in concentration, a deliberate focusing of attention on the present moment. Its primary aim? To cultivate a state of mindfulness, laying the foundation for a life rich in positive engagement. The essence of meditation is to anchor you in the now, to notice and savor the manifold joys that life offers moment by moment. This practice of deliberate attention not only slows the whirlwind pace of modern existence, but also opens up a space for appreciating the finer details of our day-to-day experiences. Such an enriched awareness is a vital ingredient in achieving the coveted three one positivity ratio, where our encounters with joy outnumber those with adversity. Empirical evidence lends robust support to meditation's transformative power. Consider a study where participants were divided into two groups, one attending a meditation workshop and the other not. The findings were unequivocal. Those who engaged in meditation reported a significantly enhanced positivity ratio compared to their counterparts. But the benefits of meditation extend far beyond an elevated mood. Research across disciplines has illuminated meditation's profound impact on our physical and psychological well-being. From mitigating pain and stress to tempering anxiety, meditation's influence is far-reaching. Skeptics might be tempted to dismiss it as mere placebo, yet scientific inquiries reveal tangible changes in brain activity. Specifically, meditation dials down the neural circuits wired for negative emotions and gives a boost to regions associated with positivity. So for those aspiring to tilt the balance of their emotional lives towards greater happiness and fulfillment, meditation emerges as a potent ally. And perhaps the most encouraging aspect of this practice is its accessibility. Mere minutes of meditation a day can spark a noticeable shift towards a more joyful, present existence. In a world where happiness often seems elusive, meditation offers a straightforward, time-honored route to enhancing our quality of life, one breath at a time. Final Summary In the journey through life, our emotional landscape is often defined by a delicate balance between the highs of positive emotions and the lows of negative ones. This book sheds light on an essential truth. Positive emotions, though quieter than their negative counterparts, hold the key to a fulfilled and resilient existence. To tip the scales in favor of a more enriching life, we must strive for the optimal emotional ratio of three. One, where every negative emotion is outweighed by three positive experiences. 
Achieving this ideal balance is more than just wishful thinking. It's a practical goal within reach, thanks to the transformative practices of mindfulness, meditation, and maintaining a gratitude diary. These strategies not only elevate our quota of positive emotions, but also equip us with a powerful armor against life's adversities. By cultivating a daily habit of focusing on the present, appreciating the small joys, and acknowledging our blessings, we can recalibrate our emotional compass. This not only inoculates us against the potency of negative feelings, but also opens our hearts to a deeper connection with others and a zest for new adventures. The essence of this book's message is a beacon of hope. With deliberate effort and the right practices, attaining a predominantly positive outlook on life is an attainable goal for most. This transformation promises not just a fleeting sense of happiness, but a profound and lasting shift towards a more open, resilient, and vibrant way of living. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.